Hi folks, it's me India, um, Celestine from Centro Fe Peraza Caridad here with another video. Um, I wanted to talk in brief um, in this video um, and I just want to first and foremost um, say that this video, this video seems a little awkward. Um, I know folks um, are looking at this video and asking all types of questions and like, oh my God, what is this video? Who is this person? And you know, like, and um, I just want, okay, this video right here is gonna be just like a real candid, open, heart-to-heart -heart talk with the community at large. Um, and now I'm gonna explain to you why I have the video the way I have the video. Um, some people are gonna support it. Some people are not gonna support it. Some people are always gonna be critical of things, regardless of what I do, what I say how I try to uh, navigate these spaces and stuff like that, it is what it is, you understand? At the end of the day, this is my um, my channel. This is my contributions to the community. And I, I'm i always gonna be authentic and real with myself and those people that I, that, that um, in all reality, in all honesty, whoever I engage with, you know, I'm not gonna sit there and sugarcoat anything. I'm not gonna sit there and pull punches and, you know, I'm not with all that stuff. I was not, doing all that stuff, navigating this world, and I'm not gonna start navigating uh, that way or, or, or changing or refining myself uh, to protect people's sensibilities and stuff of that nature, you know? Like, I am as I am, and I am i don't profess to be nothing that I'm not. I acknowledge the fact that I'm a work in progress, and nobody's perfect, okay? First and foremost, I just want to say um, that this video right here, I'm making it in this way because um, as many of you guys know, I've been walking this path for many years. There's a lot of people that do know me. There's a lot of people that know of me. There's a lot of people that think they know me or they might have heard of me or they may, might have, have seen me in different spaces and engaging in different uh, ways or contributing in different methods and ways in the community. I am liked by uh, some people. I am um, respected by, by others. And unfortunately, um, in our imperfect world, in our imperfect community and stuff like that, there are gonna be uh, detractors, there are gonna be haters, there are gonna be people that, uh, uh, unfortunately, um, I don't sit well with them, they don't sit well with me. Um, but at the end of the day, I've always strived to be as real and as authentic as possible, okay? Uh, first and foremost, I just want to say that the reason for this video, that I'm posting it the way I'm posting it, because I'm a yabo. Understand? Those that managed to have looked at my previous video that I posted, uh, noticed that I was in full view as a yabo. Understand, and um, and I don't have no regrets about that. You know, um, I don't have no no regrets about that. But at the same time, I was instructed that I needed to be mindful about certain things due to the ramifications of of the community at large and how people's perceptions, views, judgments, uh, prejudgments of me or how the community at large feels, feels about a yabo uh, um, in these traditional um, systems in the context on the, on the public platform and how that might rub certain people the wrong way or might reflect negatively on me, negatively on the, um, my elders uh, and the ile that I belong to. Um, I am not perfect by no measure. Sometimes I do uh, make errors in judgments. Uh, sometimes I hold people to a higher standard and those higher standards unexpectedly on, on many occasions, oftentimes, uh, my expectations uh, of people sometimes may seem a little bit unrealistic, unattainable, or subsequently I might encounter disappointment, okay? Uh, with that said, I'm just gonna say that um, 
that um, you know, I'm a little nervous and stuff like that. You know, I'm trying to contain my emotions and stuff, you know, um, because I am a little frustrated. Um, I'm a little upset. Um, you know, I'm a little bit of emotional and stuff like that. So I have to mind, mind that and keep myself even keel and stuff like that. So I don't end up losing my composure and really spitting things the way I really want to spit things. The really the way I'm I was accustomed to spitting things, you know, uh, before my yaburahe. You know, so I have to be very mindful of that. You know, um, you know. So from this day forward, you know, uh, my video I'm gonna contribute to the best of my abilities in this manner, in this format. Understand, just to protect myself. And then, and also to represent um, my ile in a more, you know, more positive, constructive manner. Understand? Um, I'm gonna say this. Understand? Um, the reality is this. Understand? Uh, before I got involved in Santeria, I understood what I was getting myself into. I just didn't understand the gravity of everything that I was getting myself into. But sub because subsequently, some things are, are just not going to be told to us. Some things are just not going to be, people are not going to be completely transparent about certain things. Because the reality is that as an Aleo, sometimes you're not privy to certain things. This uh, religion and this tradition, oftentimes, in order for you to, to be privy to some information and that liberty for people to express certain things, or explain certain things, you have to immerse yourself in this faith. You have to surrender yourself uh, to certain ritualistic endeavors and stuff like that to be able to, to, to then open those doorways. And even then, you're still, uh, um, you're still new to everything, understand? I've never professed to, to come off as though I know everything. I've never indicated to anybody that I was some expert at anything. Understand? I'm, I understand uh, uh, a lot of things, and I am very transparent with those people that I I, I align myself with, uh, or those people that that I've entrusted with this undertaking of of guiding me appropriately at, within this faith system. It's not easy to me. Understand? And I'm gonna tell you this, it's not easy to me because I've had to overcome a lot of hurdles, a lot of trials, a lot of tribulations throughout my whole existence to be who I am, understand? To be who I am and to be able to navigate uh, in, in my truth, in my light, and to, to find my space in, in, in society, in my community, and, and, and cultivate and nurture certain capacities that I have and be able to be a positive contributor to my community. Unfortunately, with that said, no matter what I do, what I say, or, or how positive I might contribute to the community, there are always gonna be people within our community that's gonna be retractors, that's gonna see your potential, that's gonna see your light. And unfortunately, you don't wanna see, they, they don't wanna see you reach your fullest potential. Understand? There are a lot of people that think they think that they're gonna uh, defame my character. There are gonna be people that are gonna be speaking ill of me. They're gonna be gossiping. They're gonna be spreading lies. They're gonna be speaking blasphemous stuff about me and stuff like that. And everybody's entitled to believe what they wanna believe, say what they wanna say. It doesn't matter to me because that does not take away from my sense of security my sense of purpose or my direction in life. At the end of the day, I am responsible for myself. At the end of the day, the only relationship that truly, truly, truly does matter is the relationship that I sustain with the person that, who I am as a person and the relationship that I sustain and maintain with my God, the relationship that I sustain and maintain and cultivate and nurture with my muertos, my ego, and now that I am a Yabo, the relationship that I'm going to be sustaining from this day forward with the Orishas that are my guiding light, my guiding principle throughout my existence. The reality is that this is not an easy process and it's not going to be an easy process for me. Understand? Because I've always lived a self-directed life. 
I've always been forced into situations where I had to live my life by my own means and methods. That I've needed to, f to find the strength and the, the resilience within myself to pull myself out of certain situations and figure it out for myself. Nothing was given to me without personal sacrifice. Nothing I am and how I exist and how I navigate my world did not come cushioned to me or wrapped up in a bow and beautiful fabric. Understand? I've had to work very, very hard, very diligently. I've had to overcome a great many, many things that for some other people, they would have succumbed a long time ago. But because of my guiding principle, my faith and my devotion, I've, al I've always persevered. I've always persevered and I'm always gonna persevere. And I'm never gonna let anything or anyone rob me of my light, of my purpose or my direction in life. Um, you know, I'm a little, I'm, you know, it's like very frustrating. Um, Because in light of everything, you know, like, um, you know, uh, this is my livelihood. My contributions to, to, to my community is also a way that I sustain myself. It's also a way that I get compensated for the services to be able to contribute to my community, to be able to service and help people. Understand? And it has not come easy. Nothing has come easy. And nothing's gonna come easy for me. So unfortunately, I have to make some changes in how I navigate this space for a duration of time. Understand? And I'm gonna have to be very meticulous and very careful about not putting myself in uh, compromising predicaments that's gonna reflect negatively upon myself or my le, or those that I have confided in to be able to guide me and to safeguard my passage as a um, Yavosita. Understand? And in, you know, I want to, to, to really, really encourage people in the community to start being a little bit more mindful and a little bit more sympathetic and understanding. Understand? That not all of us has had the same experience. Not all of us has had the liberty to have a family, have a community that's been supportive in any and all their endeavors. Some of us had to really, really, really struggle a lot, suffer a lot to make it to where we are right now and to make it to where we want to be in our lives. Understand? I don't have, you know, like I don't profess to be this righteous person or to be better than anybody or profess to, 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 to know it all, you know. I'm still learning as I go, you know. And this Yavoraje has been a little bit difficult and it has, you know, certain challenges have been posed to me and stuff. But life has taught me and given me the tools necessary for me to be able to rise to this occasion as well. And I don't plan to give up. I don't plan to resign. I don't plan to lay down for nobody. I don't plan to allow people to think for one minute that they're gonna walk all over me. Or to think that they're gonna silence me, erase me. As a yawo, and much less as a human being and individual that deserves to be treated with dignity and respect. With that said, you know, I just want to thank those those few people, which are far, far few and in between, that have been encouraging me, that have been advising me, that have been giving me some sound advice. And also, I want to also even thank those that, that think that they want to rise to the occasion and think that they're going to challenge things in my life and make my yaguraje particularly difficult. Because at the end of the day, everything is a learning process. 
And even though I might encounter some barriers, some obstacles, some trials and tribulations, they're just gonna make me a better, bigger and better person tomorrow and I'll reflect on all this and it'll put a lot of things in my life into context, into, into perspective for me. With that said, I just wanna say thank you. God bless uh, those that support me. May God and the Orishas continue to bless you. And just to reiterate, and just to make sure that I'm very, very specific, because a lot of people tend to want to hear what I have to say and want to nitpick and, and take out of context what I'm trying to express. Understand? The only relationship that truly, truly, truly matters to me, like I said, is my relationship with God, my muertos, my orishas, and the transparency and the open communications and the relationship that I sustain and I continue to cultivate and grow with my elder, my madrina, my yubona, and those within my ile and my community. Outside the scope of that, the reality is and the truth is, I'm gonna treat you according to how you receive me. Understand? How you treat me, how you deal with me, is gonna be based upon how you how you profess or think that you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be dealing with me. You know, respect is optional. Understand? And respect I give, but respect is something that has to be earned. Understand? I didn't lose my individuality or who I am as a person immersing myself in these traditions. At the end of the day, if I cannot deal with you, understand, or you cannot deal with me, being mindful to treat me with dignity and respect, or being mindful what you say, what you express to me, how you express it, or how you engage with me, then I'll forget about all the spirituality stuff, and I'm going to deal with you, how I've dealt with anybody that I that have had the privilege to have to be forced to encounter in my daily life. And that's all I have to say.